a creative but simple way to reveal text, create a split screen, or even just transition into the start of this tutorial. Here in my main composition, I have two pre-comps. One is my first page, and the second is the page, image, or footage I want to reveal underneath. But we can ignore that second page for now, and if we open up our first page, and in here we want to create a new solid. Let's make this white. OK, OK. And then with our pen tool, we want to draw a jagged line roughly along the path we want the page to tear. So I'm just going to draw mine horizontally across the page. And then I'm going to continue this up and around just so we can finish where we started and complete the path. And it doesn't look much like a page tear at the moment, but we're going to change this by adding the effect roughen edges and bring this onto our white solid. And then the border I'm going to change to 50, edge sharpness to 5, scale to 200, and then the complexity I'm going to up to 10. My comp size is 4K, so if yours is a different size and your rough and edges looks a bit different, then you might need to play around with these properties until you're a bit happier with how they're looking. And we are seeing some rough edges around the outside, not just along the tear. So to hide that on our solid, let's just up our scale slightly to 103, that's fine. And there we have the edge of our torn page. So if we turn back on our first page, turn this on, and then under the track mat drop down, let's select our white solid. And then back in our main composition, you can see our two pages. So we have our second page, and then on top we have half of our torn page. So what we do need is the bottom half. So we just need to reveal our main page in our project window. Duplicate this, let's call this first page underscore bottom, and then drag it into our main composition at the very top, so above our original first page. Open this up. All we need to do is invert this track mat. So click this button here, and it will invert, and now we will see the bottom half rather than the top back to our main composition, and there you go, we have our first page and first page bottom. So we have the top and the bottom. Right, so let's get it torn, and I'm going to select our first page, the bottom half, and I'm going to search for the effect page turn. And I'm going to bring this onto our layer, and I'm just going to straight away up the back opacity to 100 so it's not transparent. And in the controls drop down, we need to select the best option for where we want our tear to occur. I'm going to select top corner left or top left corner because I want it to tear from left to right. And then at the start of our animation, we want to create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch next to fold position and just zoom out. And now we want to, with our fold position, we want to change this just so it's completely in position, but not too much past it, so around there. So now I'm going to go forwards roughly two seconds, and then I'm going to drag this along to create our tear, zoom out a bit more, until that page is completely off screen. So roughly... So roughly there. So I'm just going to press N to bring our end point out and play that through. It's not quite there yet. There are a few other steps we need to go through. And the first is to get rid of this sort of transparent, well, the back of our, our paper. We want this just to be completely clear. So what I'm going to do is reveal our first page bottom in our project panel. Again, let's duplicate and let's call that first page back and we can bring this into our main composition and turn it off because we don't actually need to see it and then on our first page bottom in our page turn here on the back page we can select our first page back and nothing will happen because it is currently identical to our original page but if we open this up we can alt replace our first page content with anything we want i have already created an identical composition but just without the text so if we then go back to our tutorial or main composition, you'll see that the back page is 
clean without any text. So you can put anything there you want. You can have it a different color, you can have a different texture. You can do whatever you want in there. And quite importantly, the next thing is ideally we will be seeing some white tear marks along the page where it's been torn. And we can do this quite simply in our first page. So not the bottom one, the top one. If we go into this and duplicate our solid layer. Bring this to the bottom, turn it on. And if we just open up our mask, go to our mask path and let's just move this down slightly. There we go. And now if we go back to our main composition, you will see a nice white edge along the torn path. And that's already much better, but I want more imperfection in there. So I'm going to play around with the mask path so we have thicker and thinner points along the line. And that's looking quite good. So let's go back to our main composition and we can play this through. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to do the same thing we just did there on this uh, back. So back to our first page back, duplicate the solid, bring it to the bottom and just move it up slightly. I'm not going to mess about with the, the uh, path points this time. I'm just going to leave it just slightly higher up, turn it on. Just need to invert that back to our main composition and play this through again. To give a bit more depth, let's add a drop shadow to our main page, our first page. So let's search for drop shadow and bring on drop shadow. Let's up the distance to 50 and the softness to 75. Yep, it's not too bad. I'm just going to change the direction. So it's heading further left than right. Yep, about there. And then let's also add a drop shadow to our bottom half of our first page. So I'm just going to bring on drop shadow. And let's do a really big distance here, so 225. And then softness of 250. But let's alter the direction so it's aiming right over to the left. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Let's play that through. And there we have our finished paper tear. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you could also subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.